Hi, it's Ken from CraftyCAD.com here, and in this video tutorial I'll be running through how to create your own title block to put on your drawings and paper space. So I'll be covering the creation of the line work and text, and also the creation of attributed text within the block. So to get started I've just created a new metric blank drawing. I'm going to switch over into Layout tab, and a couple of properties I want to set up are the make sure it's in metric, and change the text units to millimeters. I'll be setting up an A3 title block, so I'm going to change my workspace sheet properties to A3 and landscape. Hit OK. Uh, one more thing I'll also do is I want to get rid of the blocks that come in with that blank template. So if I go to Tools, Palettes, Blocks, you can delete these blocks. Just hit Yes when that warning pops up. So to get started with the line work, I'm going to create a couple of layers. I'm going to create one for my main outlines, which I'll call a 0.5 line. And I'll set that line width to be 0.5 millimeters. Create another one, which is 0.25 line. Set that line width to be 0.25. Two more, which is uh, 2.5 text, and 5 text. So that's all the line work and text we'll be using on this project. So once that's set up, I'm just going to close the layers tab. Now, to start the line work, I'm going to set all of my line work up on the 0.5 line. I want to make sure this is set to by layer and this is set to my layer. So I'm just going to start drawing in my lines. Um, if you're not familiar with the line command or the text commands, you can view my other video tutorials which covers all the basics. So I'm just going to skip ahead to one I prepared earlier. So I've done all my line work here. It's all on 0.5 line by layer. Put some text in. This text here is um, 2.5 text. Um, all my actual informa information and attributed text is going to be 5 millimeters high. So to create my attributed text, I'm going to go up to Draw, Block, Block Attribute Definition. Now you can see I can set my height, so I've set it to 5 millimeters. I want my prompt to say title because this is going to be my title. I might actually make the title line 1 because you may get two lines in there. And I'm going to click and just type in title line one. Now I go to the command line and hit F to finish. And that's our first piece of attributed text. I'll just position that so it's lined up there. Now I'm going to create another one under there so we should be able to get two lines in our title. So again, I go draw, block, block attribute, and I'll just change this value to say line two. Click and type in title line 2, F for finish, and then I'll move this so it lines up with the title line 1. I'm going to repeat that process for each of these others, and then I'll show you how to turn this into a block so we can edit that attributed text by editing the block. Okay, so you can see I've gone through and set up my attributed text for each of the fields on my title block. Now before we turn this into a block, I'm going to show you how to import a block from another drawing. So I've set up a drawing with my logo on it. So if I go up to Insert, File, and select this logo drawing, I want to make sure Override Data and Convert Units are untipped. Hit Open. Now you can see that's pulled through this logo block. Now I can just drag and drop this onto my drawing. I'll just position it next to my title block. Now this is ready to all be turned into a, a block. So I'm going to select it all, go down to my command line and type in block. I'm going to call this A3 title and make sure insert at current location is tipped. Now this is where the attributes we created come into play. So you can see here we've got tag title line 1. If I type in here, if I just type in title, hit next. We only want one line of title, one title line on this sheet, so I'm just going to delete that little dash. Hit next, 
and the drawn I'm going to type cam next my scale is just going to be as shown uh, we'll call this drawing number S1 and we'll call it revision A so you can see I've filled in everything except for the date so I'll type in 13 01 12 and hit close so all of that information has been put into my title block here now to change this um, say the title of the drawing needs to change I double click on it and under block attribute I can change this here hit OK and you see that updates the text in there so this is a good way to set up your title block so it's nice and easy to update the information in as you go um, and now because this is a block this is all tre treated as one entity so we can copy and paste this into other sheets or if we want to we can save this out as our template so if we want next time we want to create a project we just select this template and it has the title block already loaded into it uh, I'll, s I'll show you how to save this out as a separate block entity so if we go up to file and do a partial save I'm going to call this title block and under content here, if we expand graphics, we get the blocks checkbox. Check that one and hit save. Now, what that does is it just saves a blank drawing with our title block and logo block already inserted. You'll need to just double check that the units have been carried through and update those if you need to. Um, so, I'll show you quickly creating a new drawing and inserting that title block we've just created. So I'm just going to go another normal black metric, set up my properties as I did before, set it to an A3, OK. So I'm just going to insert file, title block, and then under my blocks palette, to see our A3 titles come through. So to position this accurately I'm just going to move the title block from this bottom corner here to zero zero and then I'm going to move it relative at 10 10. So this is exactly where we've drawn it so we've got our 10 mil gap all the way around and to fill this information in I just double click and cycle through my block attributes. So I hope this has been useful and informative for you. Um, please check out my website at www.craftycad.com for more double CAD tutorials and keep an eye out in the future because there's plenty more coming.